What's up, YouTube? DJ Aztec, Mobile DJ Production, right here out of uh, Round Rock, Texas. Uh, my first time making a DJ facade or facade or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, we got some materials here. Nobody ever talks about the materials. I got here, I look I at some other videos out there, and I'm like, wow. These guys never go in depth on how it goes in there. Uh, they said to get some alpine wood. And I'm like, okay, I went down to Home Depot, checked it out a little bit. Couldn't find any. So I got these. Cedar. Cedar wood. Two feet. This will be four feet. Um, I was following some other dudes' instructions on how to do it. All right. There at the place, at the Home Depot, they actually cut them for me. They won't do angle cuts, but for some reason it was Veterans Day yesterday, and they hooked me up, and he took off the sides for me and squirted away. So, all together it should look something like, I'll right get up video in here. Smooth side, smooth side. Like that these are really smooth you got smooth side and you got a rough side on the other side so it's probably gonna be the inside part all right and we got uh, I got these uh, screws in here that grab onto wood uh, I don't know you'll see it but I make sure they were flat flat on the insides completely flat to go in there and then I got the inside um, they on other videos I saw they wanted to use L brackets, but I decided to go with these industrial strength. I probably paid a little bit more, so all in all, I think I spent about 106 bucks or something. Um, I don't know, it just seems a lot thicker and a lot more sturdy to hold on to the wood together. But that's the plan right now to get this going together. I also picked up a bear satin enamel finish you can see out there it's about 38 degrees out here right now but I'm trying to work on it see how it comes out also for the hinges and brackets I got these uh there's like a dollar man or 97 cents or something I don't know if you can see it there and I also got some gorilla glue wood gorilla glue I'm gonna put in between there and fill in the gaps but like I said, it's my first time making it. Um, I'm going to put it together. And then uh, once it's out together, I'll, I'll see how sturdy it is. I'll make another video for you guys to be continued. What up, YouTube? Back again, DJ Aztec. Our Round Rock, Texas. Here we go. Part two. We got here, right here. The woods are almost done. The issue I ran into is that once you screw it all in, it spaces out, so I mean spaces out. I mean right around here, the gaps open up a little bit. So I got some filler, put them all in there, and I'm about to sand it down. Sand the pieces down. It's actually pretty sturdy, pretty light. All of them done right there. How they're looking for right now. All right. All right, thing. fellas. I guess this is part three of it. I just sanded it down. It's all nice and smooth. This is the outside, how it looks. All right, you can see the inside, how smooth. All right here, all this will probably be in a painted black before I put on the Lycra. This is the inside, see? Nice and sturdy, man. It ain't going nowhere. It's a little rough right here. I did a couple of them where I sanded them off. I don't know which one I did it. I think it was this one. Yeah, I sanded some of the rough edges on some of this to make it smoother, but I mean, it really doesn't matter because it's going to be uh, on the inside part. So, on the inside of your facade or facade or whatever you want to see it. But that's the progress right now. Got these almost done. What up, YouTube? Continue. DJ Astic right here at Round Rock, Texas. Um, here's a final product right now, so we're at. It came out awesome. Painted them all the way I think these uh, brackets are pretty freaking cool man they're sturdy the paint came on them perfect I don't know like these rough edges but either way it's gonna be on the inside all five are complete 
This is a smooth side. I don't know if you can see it. The bracket, you can barely see it right there. I mean, just minor touch-ups, it'll come out badass. All right. All I need to do is right now put the hinges on, paint them, and then, of course, I'm going to put the lycra on there and uh, see how it looks like at the end. To be continued. What up, YouTube? DJ Aztec again here from Round Rock, Texas. I right, got the finished product right now. Hopefully, y'all can see it in the sunlight, bright it outside so y'all can see it. All right, here's a problem I ran into. Um, once you get the measurements out, nobody ever said anything how hard it is to pull the elasticity on these things, right? You can tell little tears and whatever, but you got to staple gun the crap out of it completely. I put the hinges on there. Right here, I didn't, I didn't do removable pinches because I got a big old trailer. I can just haul in everything, move in, move out, done. Um, I also left it empty space so I can be able to move it around and I have to hinge it if I want to. As you can tell, it's on here complete. It came out pretty nice. I did make a video last night before I put the gig up on. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, you know, I'm gonna take it for a gig this weekend. I'm gonna put video, put, make make a complete video and put it all together. Here's a final. I bought more brackets than I needed, so I returned them. So actually, I spent like forty dollars more. So here's my price list as it was. I don't know if you can see it coming down. My total was one sixteen. All right, I actually spent more than I needed. So actually it was minus $42, $43 of that. All right, Joanne Fabrics. Man, I have so much extra, look at this. I brought three and a half yards. As you can see, 3.5 yards. It came out, minus your $40 uh, coupe 40% off. It came out to $32.08. But, man, I got enough to make about four more four more of those the lycra here's another thing I run another kicker I ran into um, on one of these I didn't stretch it out all the way and it's thick white compared to that one I don't know if you probably can't see it but you can see through this one see how you can see through that one this one I didn't stretch it out all the way and it's actually a thicker white which I kind of like um, also, I will be posting uh, pictures of the measurements. And nobody ever does this either. Measurements of an actual cutout of the white lycra. I think it was 17 inches by 12 inches. Uh, diagonally. So it's a small little piece. Like a little square piece. And then it, you can stretch it out. It may not look like it. But it'll stretch out completely all the way around. And it'll come out badass. Alright, the only uh, other thing left to do now is... Oh, like I said, remember I said... The tears, there'll be some tears and notches, but I mean, like I said, I'm also planning on putting Gorilla Glue on the end, a uh, Gorilla Glue tape, the black tape, and just to put a little extra oomph in it, I'm just gonna stick it on the top, just to clean it up a little bit in case anybody comes to the booth and stuff. You don't want all that crap nests out there. But yeah, man, the painting, the cutting, everything just came out perfect, man. Them brackets right here are the shit. Those L brackets, man, they came out stronger and it can sturdy and it's lightweight really lightweight but um like i said any more i'll post up um how much i spent total so much fabric is left over you don't need three and a half yards look at that i got more than enough left to make more it's ridiculous and um i'll give you my total everything measurements and the wood wood itself is another thing but i mean i mean just cutting it they did it for me like i said they're lows for free they cut it four feet by two feet, and then they did the angles, the 45 degree angles in there, and no palms. All right, YouTube, to be continued. Um, I think my last video thing is gonna be probably at the, at a gig, and uh, see how it goes. All right, man, have a good one.
final product. 